I am in love. Very flattering on a lot of different body types. How do we do that? 20 minutes and it's customizable. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am here today with the cutest dress you can make in 20 minutes. I promise you it is so stinking cute and i am loving this dress because i think it's completely customizable and i think it's going to be flattering for a lot of different body types so because we're on the clock today let's get started all right so i have a banana republic shirt i love that it has this ribbon on the inside of the button placket and all i'm going to do is figure out where the biggest part, widest part of my hip is, and add a pin right there because it's gonna be a drop waist dress gonna cut off here and flare there. I think this look is very flattering on a, a lot of different body types, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, here we have our shirt, our pin. I'm gonna take a ruler and my sliver of soap. You can use Taylor's chalk, whatever you like, and I'm just gonna take a line all the way across. If you wanna be precise, you measure up from the bottom on both sides and see what that is. So from there, the lowest point is like 13 and a quarter. So I go here, 13 and a quarter, so that we can make it straight. And that's where the seam is gonna be, not the cut. And we're gonna leave a half inch seam allowance. We'll save these, cause I really like this detail. And it also has it right here. So we'll save that for something else. All right, so now we're gonna grab our other shirt. When you're choosing your shirts, you really just want something that coordinates. And so I thought that this stripe gave it a really preppy vibe, so why not use plaid? So we're gonna use this as our bottom fabric. And that's all we're thinking about with this, is we wanna extract, yes, extract as much fabric as possible from here. When you're trying the shirt on, you also wanna measure how long from that point, how long you want the dress to be. So from that middle hip, Point, you want to measure down how long do you want your dress to be ideally you'll be able to get two of that length so I would know I want mine to be 12 or 13 inches more than the bottom of the first shirt ideally I would need 24 to 26 inches on this shirt and these are great and quick because if you don't want to rehem you can just leave the bottom hem. For now, I'm gonna leave it how it is. Just gonna do a quick measurement. We're gonna measure from the shortest side. All right, so from the shortest, we're on this line right here. I'm gonna button it. All right, so that's one layer. And we are going to just cut straight as much as we can up on the side. I'm gonna cut 13 inches on this side because part of that was longer. And we need to hem. And if you wanna know if I'm taking the pocket off, no, cause it's a quick dress. It's just gonna have a pocket on the skirt. All right, so now we need to connect these two. I'm not gonna worry about where these buttons fall. I'm gonna cut it along one side. All right, so now we have to connect all of these pieces. Let's lay everything on the good side. And we just wanna go to our sewing machine and connect all the layers. I'm probably gonna do it on my serger. Of course, you can sew this. You'll just lay it good side to good side and go to your sewing machine, sew it. Then for the edges, you can do an overlock or a zigzag stitch on the ends. We got one piece attached. Now we'll attach the next piece, good side to good side. We'll keep doing this until we have one big circle. So I am actually going to cut it off even so that we can hem it. So I'm trying to find the shortest length. Ooh, it's 11 inches. How did we do that? <laughs> Is this gonna be a dress or a top? Okay, never mind. You can cut it straight if you like. I'm not gonna cut it straight because I'm scared it's gonna be too short. All right, so what we wanna do is add a gathering stitch to the whole top of this layer. You can do sections. So I'll probably do this half as one section and this half as another section. The reason I'm gonna do that is because when I start pulling the thread, sometimes it feels kind of tight. So I'm gonna do it in two sections so my thread won't break. All right, for a gathering stitch, all you do is make your stitch length the longest it can go and your tension as high as it will go. And so that produces a really loose thread that you can then pull to gather your um, fabric. Some machines will start to gather it for you when you sew like this, but others will not, this one will not. 
Oh, it is. It's starting to gather it a little bit. You can see right there. And don't cut your thread. Leave your thread a little bit long. Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing? Yeah, I see. What's wrong with you? You've never done that before. Oh, that's weird. I need that. These type of problems right now on the clock. No! Oh! <gasps> you clown. Acting up in front of these people. And honestly, I just recommended you to people unpaid, unsolicited. Oh. Okay, so I don't know why my sewing machine decided to give me trouble today. Like it really doesn't do that often, but it knew I had a deadline. It knew I was trying to get this done in 20 minutes and it decided, no, we're not gonna act right today. But we're still within our time. I think we're gonna make it. It's time for us to gather. I think I'm going to stand up doing this. So let me adjust the table. And you guys always ask me about this table. This is the FlexiSpot Canapro Bamboo Standing Desk. And I have been using it as the ultimate cutting table because it's motorized it moves up and down you can set your positions it's just I have the biggest length it's 72 inches by 36 inches and I absolutely love it and they wanted me to let you guys know that they are having a sale they're celebrating tech day this year with big discounts up to $200 off on their official website between September 7th and September 9th it's also their sixth anniversary and the discounts are gonna be juicy so don't miss it if you miss this one you're gonna have to wait till Black Friday so if you've been thinking about it go ahead and check it out the link is in my description box all right so we have our little skirt it is gathered from one side to the other Remember, we only did it in half. So we're gonna add a pin so that we can lock the stitch. And we're just gonna take the take the thread over and under each side of the pin. That way when we pull from the other end, this side doesn't pull through. All right, so then you're gonna find your bobbin side of the thread and you wanna pull that side. And that's how you gather. You wanna be careful not to break that thread because if you break that thread, you're gonna be mad. All right, so now we're gonna start pinning. All right, just so you know, I turned it right side out so that I can now turn it inside out. Just to make sure I get everything on the right way. All right, so I'm gonna pin this on the side seam. All right, pin this other one on the side seam. Just lining up the button placket. All right, so now we just need to adjust the gather so that it matches. All right. So I feel like that's even. Now it's just about distributing the ruffles evenly to the back. All right, I feel like we are evenly distributed and the right width. Now we can go and sew the two layers together all the way around. And you also wanna make sure that you change the stitch back to just a regular stitch. Mine is 2.5 and the tension is at four. All right, so once you get that stitch in, you can go ahead and serge or overlock the edge. If you don't have either of those options, you can also add some fray check to the end, or you can cut the edge of that seam with some pinking shears. All right, one more thing I wanna do before we hem, I really want to like take this stitch and fold it up and sew it down at a top stitch so from the front it'll be folded up towards the button up and then i just want to add a stitch along the edge i think that'll make it look better sit better and then after that we are going to hem the edge so i have to figure out what a right length is to double fold this now, to make this faster, since we're trying to make this a 20 minute dress, I could serge the end. If you have a serger, you could serge the end and just fold it once. We'll probably serge it and fold it one time. So we're moving fast. I told you that was not gonna take long. We are done. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. We are doing amazing things here all the way from no sew and scissors only tutorials all the way up to like the most amazing epic of cycles ever. And we have a learn to sew series going on right now that you don't wanna miss. So definitely hit that subscribe button. And you can also do one-on-one -on -one meetings with me once a month or group meetings in my upcycle club. So definitely hit that join button to learn more. All right. So now let's see how cute this thing is. I feel better on the weekend, weekend. Give my life a bit of meaning, meaning. Let me stay where I've been faced. I feel better on the
am in love. Like, I say that a lot. So I guess I just love fashion, but this one is just so easy. You guys know I love like easy stuff. Remember the dress that I made, another super easy dress with just the two layers. And I said like that one was like, just, it could be a lounge dress, it could be a sleep dress, it could be anything. This one is just as easy as that one, but this one is a little bit more elevated because of the ruffle. And I think it hits right at a perfect time. I was a little bit worried about this one for my body type because I am just like straight up and down. Um, but it works because I am just straight up and down. But even if you have hips, those hips will hit it just mm, perfect. Um, no matter what your size, I think this would look so cute. You can also cut it up higher and just add a ruffle, have a peplum top. You guys are always asking me about peplum with the sleeves on. So yes, it has sleeves, it has a peplum. You can customize it to make it longer if you want. Just cut that first shirt longer and then also make the ruffle as long as you can. And even you can add another layer, follow that first tutorial and you'll know how to add other more layers to it. And then you can even make it longer. So yes, I think that this is a winner, winner chicken dinner um, as far as time and as far as being easy and customizable. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments below let me know other tutorials you want me to do for the fall because we're kicking off the fall we have our runway review coming up next week i am super excited to share some easy diy things from the runway that you can do to your wardrobe to make it look super designer and just like give it some elevation so i'm super excited about that you don't want to miss it i definitely have other tutorials for you to watch right here and definitely check out my flexi spot link in the description box below for big savings and i'll see you guys in the next one all right, bye.